And the US Senate has failed in its latest attempt to end the partial, partial government shutdown, which is now in its 34th day. Two rival bills to break the funding deadlock were put forward by Republicans and Democrats. Neither got enough votes. Well, let's get more on this now and look at both sides of the stalemate. In Washington, D.C., we've got Republican strategist Charles Moran and Democratic strategist Douglas uh, Sloan. Very good to have you both with us on Al Jazeera. Mr. Sloan, I'll start with you. Where to now for the Democrats? What else do you think that they can offer the Republicans that they haven't already? Well, it's my understanding that the Dems are going to introduce a bill that includes $5.7 billion dollars for funding for security along the border, not a wall, but for uh, advanced security measures, including immigration judges, drones, and the like, in an effort to try to move the ball forward regarding all of this government deadlock. So uh, that's something that uh, we're discussing. But, of course, uh, none of this is going to happen until the government is reopened. There is absolutely no reason why the government operations, daily operations, and over 800,000 government workers being paid should be tied to right. the border wall. So uh, this is a concession Democrats are willing to make, but only after the government has been reopened. Mr. Moran, is that a concession that Republicans will accept? $5.7 billion or thereabouts in security measures along the U.S.-Mexico border, not necessarily a wall, and reopen those government agencies in the meantime? Well, Republicans are glad that uh, Democrats are actually coming to the negotiation table with with an offer instead of the Republicans just continually making offers to sweeten the pot. So it's nice that we're seeing this reciprocity. President Trump indicated in a tweet later today that he would be open to um, reopening the government if there was in some part a down payment on the wall. So we don't necessarily know yet whether or not what the Democrats are coming to the table, how much of that actually provides for beyond just the border security, actual funding for a physical barrier along the border. So um, if there may be an area here where we can reopen the government, where the two sides can meet, because as Pro President Trump indicated tonight, even if there was a down payment towards the wall in progress, he would be, opening to, he would be open to reopening the government right. um, to continue the negotiation. Well, House Leader Nancy Pelosi has already said that this sort of down payment um, is not acceptable. Do you really think, Mr. Moran, that the Democrats have not been um, coming to the table? They have introduced a number of bills to end the shutdown. They've introduced a number of bills to reopen the government, but they haven't done anything that actually addresses the root core of the problem here, which is the immigration system, the failed immigration system. Uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer voted in 2013 for $46 billion worth of border wall funding. Um, you know, they voted for, for border wall funding in the past. This is clearly, a, you know, the, the, a tool for the Democratic Party and their, their left-wing agents to not really take the immigration uh, problem seriously and address the concerns that President Trump has brought forward. They, they may have introduced bills, but they've not been bills that have dealt with the immigration problem. This is the first time in the last month the government's been closed where the Democrats are actually ready to negotiate with something instead of just folding their arms and saying no. Mr. Sloan, what do you make of that? Do you think that the Democrats aren't serious about uh, immigration and border security? Of course Democrats are serious about immigration and border security. Uh, one of the main issues is that President Trump hasn't spent the money that they authorized for border security form in 2018. There's $1.6 billion thereabouts that's lying on the table, and I understand that Trump has only used about 6 percent of that for border security. So, of course, the Democrats are serious about border security. And again, I must reiterate my point. None of this has anything to do with the government being open. Uh, even the Republican Senate in December passed a similar bill uh, to keep the government open and operating last year. It wasn't until Ann Coulter and Rush Limbaugh yeah. jumped up and made a fuss and said, no, none of this can happen without border security, that Trump jumped in and said, no, I'm not going to sign any bill uh, that doesn't have uh, money for his wall, which, by the way, Mexico is supposed to be paying for. I mean, this is really ludicrous that we're talking about a complete stop of 800,000 government workers 
some in very important agencies not working, like TSA, like air traffic controllers, Homeland Security not getting paid because Trump couldn't come through with his promise to get Mexico to pay for the wall. I mean, this is the sum total of false campaign promises coming home the roost. And, Mr. Moran... And it's, it's insane. And le let me put that to Mr. Moran, because it is the Republicans who are the party in power. How much pressure are they under over the shutdown? There's, you know, various polls. NPR, PBS, Mara survey showed 60% of Americans blame Trump for the shutdown. CNBC survey said 60% think that it's causing serious problems. And there's only 28% who actually believe that the border wall is worth the shutdown. Well, I think it's entertaining the, you know, the hypocrisy from the left because just a year ago, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi actually shut down the government for the first time for a period of time um, over an immigration issue. In that case, it was DACA and the reform of the immigration system for um, deferred access for, for that classification of, of undocumented immigrants. So this is not the first time we've actually seen a government shut down over immigration issues, and the Democrats, quite honestly, did it first. So they went there. Um, with the blame of the, you know, the shutdown, who's getting, you know, who's going to take the blame for this? President Trump, Trump made it very clear going into this shutdown that he assumed that he would take the responsibility and the blame for, you know, the government shutdown. He's not skirted from that. He stayed here in Washington, D.C. at the negotiation table when the Democratic leadership was in Puerto Rico, hyping it up at parties, watching the movie or the show Hamilton. Um, you know, he's he's been here trying to find a solution to this problem while Democrats have been cruising out on the beach in Puerto Rico. I'm sure a lot of uh, Democrats yeah, would I have something issue. to say. I take issue with that. <laughs> Mr. Sloan. Yeah, I take issue with that. They were down there for disaster relief fundraising, not partying on the beach. Hamilton. Uh, Hamilton. The Trump is totally yeah, well, uh, and completely Menendez, ignored there are Puerto pictures, Rico. Though, there are plenty <laughs> okay, of pictures. Okay, so doing... Yes, you know, the, and they, they, were they were enjoying their time on the beach and watching the show, enjoying time on the Rico, beach, which is fundraising part of the United for, States with, that with has been special interest, by President sitting on Trump. the beach. And the Democrats sitting were not the, the first to shut down the government. I was here in D.C. freezing. Sure remember Cruz Democrats, shutting down the Democrats government in 2013. Sitting on the beach. Sitting on the beach. Surely remember that. <laughs> sitting on the beach two weeks ago. <laughs> sitting on the beach two weeks ago. Gentlemen, what, what happened President to Mexico? What happened to Mexico paying for this wall? Mexico is supposed to pay Democrats for the wall. Why are we in a government seriously. shutdown? Gentlemen, I okay, am okay, afraid. Okay. I, I want I to thank both of you for your time <laughs> on this. I'm afraid that we have run out of time. <laughs> but perhaps you can continue this uh, conversation right. uh, between yourselves after the show. Charles Moran and, and Douglas Sloan. maybe Mexico in, can pay for this wall. <laughs> in Washington, D.C., thank you very Sitting much for your beach. time. Thank you. Thanks so much.